Welcome to the CX Cafe. Today I'm speaking with Gary Rhodes, who is the Stephen McCovey Professor of Entrepreneurship and Marketing at Brigham Young University. Uh, Dr. Rhodes is also the, the founder of Allegiance, which is part of Merit CX. And um, Dr. Rhodes, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about engagement. Um, I know you travel all over the world speaking about engagement and its increasing importance. Um, and maybe just a general question, why is engagement more and more important to businesses, governments, um, all types of organizations? Yeah, it's getting a lot of buzz, isn't it? I mean, if you look around the world today. I think the reason is, 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 is simple. If you look at companies that are worth billions of dollars, what's the distinguishing factor? They have great products, right? And they have great services, but why? Because they have great people, right? They have great employees and great customers. And engagement, I mean, one thing that you, you know, I mean, go into an Apple store, or go into a Harley Davidson store, you know, where they have great brands and highly engaged employees. What do you notice? Their passion, their emotional commitment. And, uh, you know, I've, I've seen companies where they're real flat. There's just no excitement in the organization because they're not emotionally attached to their company and to the products and services. And so, I mean, bottom line is you're more profitable. Your operating expenses are lower. You're more creative when you have more engaged employees. And you're clearly more profitable when you have highly engaged customers. So it's important because it uh, affects the bottom line. So I feel like... All the time I hear, we want to be the apple of our industry. Yeah. Um, we, we just want to do what they're doing. But I don't think that that happens very often. What, what are the steps that a company has to go through to create that, those kind of engaged employees, engaged customers? We all know the steps, but it's executing the steps that's hard, right? I mean, I'm number one, I think a mission that matters, right? Having a purpose. And getting your employees to buy in on that purpose. Sometimes I've heard it said, you know, find a Goliath to slay, right? Just, I mean, like Walmart at one time uh, really did a good job in saying, we can really impact sustainability products and green products because we're a large retail organization. And that gets employees excited and it gets customers excited. Um, just get a mission that matters. But, you know, I think we talked about this earlier. A lot of people, they, they'll just, you know, get a mission statement, but it's, it's not meaningful. And, it's, and it doesn't have an emotional kind of tag along with it. So, and also, I mean, you, we've talked about this before. We're so busy putting out fires in our organizations, we really never time, take the time to reflect on what are we really doing and why are we working. Why we work today is as important as how we work. Hmm. I mean, and, that, and that's a key thing, I think, that we don't think about. We just think about how we're working, how are we doing. But uh, we should be taking the time to think about why. Mm. We're working. So the companies that become great are the ones that are able to connect the daily work they do with something that matters on an emotional level yeah. to, to yeah. a customer or to a, an employee. Yeah, just like I love being at the university because we have a purpose, right? We're a nonprofit organization and, and, uh, at Brigham Young, and, and we have a real uh, emotional connection mm -hmm. with what, what we do and why we do it. And that, that goes a long ways. And every organization really needs to stop thinking so much about how we work. That's important, but why we work. Mm -hmm. So mission that matters. Second is that voice, right? Allow voice. I mean, you want, if, if you have a purpose in an organization, you've got to let people contribute to that purpose. And so that transparency in an organization and, you know, allowing employees to have the opportunity to make a difference really matters. Because if, if you're not allowed to make a difference, you won't make a difference, right? So some basic things we all know on that. One thing you've, you've spoken about before is um, creating linkages in an employee and customer experience plan. Yeah, kind of spillover. I mean, we all know that customers reflect the organization, right? I mean, the customers of Merits reflects what's going on in the organization. Mm -hmm. And what are they reflecting? The passion and excitement of the people they meet inside the organization. So we know, I mean, every, I mean, everybody talks about happy employees or productive employees and productive employees, you know, their, their emotion and, and excitement, uh, you know, spills over to customers and they feel it. Think about it. Again, you talked about Apple or anyone. Go to an Apple store. 
do you see a lot of Drury people walking around like mummies or do you see people that are really excited and, and jazzed about the products and love telling you about it, right? I mean, even at this hotel, right? I mean, what we're finding, you go meet with some of the employees, they're excited about working here. And that kind of spills over to saying, hey, this is a great place mm -hmm. to be. So we know it's important to link. Uh, a lot of organizations know it's important and they, and, and they know that if you have highly engaged employees, you're more likely to have highly engaged customers. But they don't measure it and they don't connect the linkage. If they did, they'd put more money into getting highly engaged employees. Hmm. Knowing it and measuring it are two different things. Once you measure it, you go, oh my word, putting money in to create a, a purpose that matters to get employees more engaged in our product and services really pays off hmm. on bottom line performance and return on investment. Thank you, Dr. Rhodes, for sharing your insight today. You're welcome. It's really helpful to think about engagement and then I'm just thinking, what is the ROI of engagement for, for organizations? And it, it must be huge. So we'll follow up on that next time. Okay. Thanks. Hey, thanks for having me.